Good morning, guys. How are you doing on this glorious sunny day? What are glorious. you doing? What are you doing? I'm, uh, well, for one, I was trying to get my podcast, well, not my podcast, my radio station to work. It wasn't connecting my headphones, but now it is connecting. What are, you, li what are you listening to? Today is going to be a drowning pool kind of day because okay. I need some motivation. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I, I haven't picked yet what I'm going to listen to, but I'll let you know. I'm going to listen to the sound of the mower. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got a lot of cleanup here to do. Pre-mulch day and mow day and whatever else day. Whatever so, we get into day. Let's get to it.
guys just like the other day bed prep make a big difference if it looks good as dirt if you can see up through there if it looks good as dirt it'll look really good as mulch when you smooth it out Oh, I hate pine needles down the back. So any of these bigger clumps you guys see, I had to cut the edge in again here. Uh, they'll dry out by tomorrow when we lay the mulch. And we'll come back in and just crush them. And yeah, they'll bust apart like dust. TQ's just going along here. This tree pumps out a lot of roots. Not as big as the one the other day, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> but, yeah, just cleaned it up. If not, you'll lay that mulch edge and those little roots will pop up and it'll just look goofy. Uh, I gotta be real careful right here. I know one foot out there's a wire. Right there it is.
All right, I'm gonna continue that on around here. Tell you what, nothing better than an 80 plus degree day out here with my wife, knocking out this big old landscaping job, getting a little sun on us. And uh, yeah, man, I'll tell you what, please guys don't underestimate how much work is into this video. This was an entire day. Like we got here bright and early, got started, and we did not leave till the end of the day when we had to go to one of Miley's softball games. And uh, yeah, we just put it in. But I know sometimes video doesn't do it justice. This is backbreaking work. We both felt it at the end of the day super bad, and uh, yeah, if you know, you know, but getting it done, like always, looks absolutely beautiful, finishing up this edge here. I like to taper my my dirt or, you know, the old mulch in, just makes it real easy when we come back in to put that edge down. If you don't know, when you bring new mulch in, you, uh, you don't want to fill your edge up, so you want to bring it in a couple inches, two, three inches throughout the bed, really helps prevent the weeds from coming back in. All right, time for a quick dumpy roo.
So the really nice thing about here is we were given permission because they own all these woods to just put any of the pine needles and debris. Alright guys, TQ's finishing mowing, just has this little bit here left. That's good. Alright, we got my truck all loaded up with mulch. And we have Mike and Noah here with us. Got his dump truck, we're gonna load that up. He said he can roughly get about eight yards. His mine's a Chevy. Oh. Can hold more. Oh. It's got higher walls, oh. so don't even, don't even start. Stop. He's just talking crap. So, he's about loaded, I'm loaded, I'm gonna go pay and then there's a line, there's a line waiting. See, there's a line. <laughs> All right, let's get the mulch party going. TQ, Noah, and Mike are going to get started here. Little mistake on their end. They should have just backed this truck right on up to these beds. But hey, I didn't notice myself, my dad, and Tisha are down by the entrance. Uh, the customer made a few little changes to those beds, so we wanted to get those taken care of so that when we got down there with the mulch chain a little bit, they were ready to go. So that's what we're doing here in one second. Once we get done down there, we'll all come up here and yeah, have a mulch party together. But yeah, future reference, Mike, Noah. You guys got to back that truck right on up to these little island beds like this.
Alright guys, we're working through it here. Tisha and Noah's up here Herculesing it up. He's still got that young back. We're taking advantage of it. I know. Hello. I did tilt the bed for him though, so yeah, I mean he's not working that hard. Yeah, you'll see it. I, I almost slipped. Almost ate it, so you'll have to highlight that part of it. <laughs> oh man. Gonna get through it here. My dad's down there finishing that one bed. got everything we needed to get with the wheelbarrows now it's time to switch over to the mulch force because the beds that we're going to be doing on the back side of the building it's a long walk probably a total of 120 yards or so there and then back and uh yeah we can utilize the mulch force to be way faster and way more efficient so let's get to it going to look like a superhero landscaper in this video. <laughs> He's refusing to let anybody else shovel. This isn't me uh only against my will. Yeah. No, he hurt his leg, so he's like, hey, I'll just shovel.
All right, guys, wrapping it up here. Got tired of filming. Just going to get it done. It's getting hot. Got that one over there, that one done. Everything up there, you guys saw most of that. We're going to get it cleaned up. Probably got eh, maybe half a yard left in here, yard. Got this one all done. All three of the beds down through there. Long time subscribers have seen this one multiple times, but new subscribers are back. Got it all the way across there, over through here. I'm gonna suggest next year that we replace this plastic. I'm not a fan of it. This big old bed down through here. Up both sides, looks really, really nice and clean. TQ is going ahead and heading out. I'm going to take the guys to gals to lunch. Oh. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Kind of a combination of two days. Yesterday, TQ and myself came in here and spent the day prepping everything. And uh, we came in here, knocked them all job out in about four hours roughly. And uh, probably could have had it done in three, but mulch places don't open until eight, which thank goodness for the one we got to, because the one that I normally go to for this job, they don't open until nine. So that was uh, not good. Anyways, job well done. Thank you to everyone that came out. Noah, Mike, Tisha, my dad, Savannah. And it's done for another year. We're going to go get some lunch. Talk to you guys later.